simple page will take. Like this, you are going to write a test cases. For any page, this is how you will write. So how many methods are there? Just check that. See, login page, if you take a login page, see how many you know, uh, methods are there. Each method, you can put one assertion and you can continue. And uh, so do login and uh, navigate to forget password page. So navigate to new customer continue registration page. So all these are, this is the each one, all otherwise these exist, all this you can put it in one method, one test method. Verifying the login page uh, elements. So one method you create, that method you can now uh, use it. But you have to think how many page objects you need here. What are all the different page objects? So you are going to forget password page. That means you need a forget password page object. You need a, you are going to registration page. So you need a registration page object. Then you are going to, once you log in, you will go to my account page. So then you need a my account page uh, details uh, object. And the login page object also you need. So all these objects you need, home page you need, registration page you need, login page you need, my account page you need, and the logout page also you need, and forget password page also you need. Sir, why do you need logout? Because you go and click on logout, right? In the my account page. So that time you need a logout. So that's what. So let's create a new test case. So I'll take this one only, just copy paste. And I'll change it. I'll change as per my requirement. I'll just change. Paste it. You can put a login page test. Okay, so now login page test extends to test base. So and also you go, you also change here. It's already changed, you can see it changed already. Again, I need a, so before uh, class, all the page objects. So this is my before class, but I need all page objects. So one by one page objects, you can uh, so you add. So what are other pages we need? We need a, so these three are done. Then we need a my account page. So my account page, what is the my account page? See, my account, these three we need. I'll just take it here. And remove this. Copy this. So this is the, all the, so page objects we need. So we need all these page objects and we need to, to navigate to login page, right? That's a one time effort. We just need to navigate once. So log.info. Uh, 
navigate to login this home piece dot navigate to login piece so it will navigate It will navigate. So then the before method just login page object dot wait. You just wait for that. So you don't okay. So here login page. Okay, so just wait for that. So after method we don't need. So after method we don't need just so create one by one test case we, this we don't need first test case is even after class also we don't need so first test case is so verifying the login page url okay verifying the login page url Verify login page URL test. Okay, so asset dot asset to true. So you can put a login page. Uh, just to log in, please. Get login page URL dot contains constants dot login page. Fraction here. Okay, so that's the first one. So verifying the login page title. So login page title. So here you can give login page object reference dot get title. So constants dot login page title. So instead of home, let's put a login page. So then next, so we have to verify the third test case or login page elements. So verifying the login page elements. So we have put away that uh, uh, is exist or something, right? Is new customer header exist? Registration account exist? He is returning customer header exist. He is login breadcrumb exist. All we have, right? Those things we can uh, call and verify that. So just put here verify login page elements. So verify login page elements.
So then you can just put asset dot asset true. So you just take a login page object dot. Is first, what is the first uh, element? Is new customer header exist? Same way. So, how many methods we have written? Just check there. So, login page, if you see here, so is new customer, right? Is returning customer exist? See all the elements we verified. So one more uh, is, okay, this one also we need to verify. Like this already we have written, right? Three. The total three are there, three we verified. So that's it. That's the one simple task case. Then next test case is, so these methods are done and then uh, navigate to forget password page also one we can do. Uh, next one, navigate to registration page one we can do. These two desk, then uh, final uh, you can do a login, proper login. Okay, so let's do the so fourth one. Uh, navigate to registration page from login. Registration from login page. Okay, from login page. So log that info. Navigate to registration page. So, and uh, so you just you know you have to login page dot. Login page dot. So, what is the method to navigate? Click new customer. Wait for page load and then verify the registration page title. So that page title also you verify. And then you, so click on uh, navigate browser back. So you can put a click navigate browser back. Navigate browser back. So you will navigate back, right? So that's another test case. So next test case is uh, navigate to Forget password page. Next. Forget password page. Now we get to forget password. Forget password page. So navigate to forget password. That's it, simple. So then you have to use a forget password object. So what is a forget password object? This one. Then verify that forget password uh, wait. Then you can do forget password page title. And constraint start forget password 
You think what is there, you have to do that. So this is the one. So that you verify. Then click on browser back button. Here click on browser back button. So with the browser back button. In registration page here, click on browser back button in target password page. That's what it is. So, forget. Okay, so we'll stop here. Already the time is over. Tomorrow we'll continue further in think pending. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir.